Hello Haskellings. My first idea for solving day 10 was to use a Parsec parser, which was a complete disaster. You're now watching the second attempt. The idea this time is to use a list as a stack to store the unmatched brackets. That stack is called WISE, and we can start it off with the empty list. If the next character X is an open bracket, we add it to the stack in the recursive call. If it's a closing bracket and it matches the opening bracket at the top of the stack, then we can eliminate both. Otherwise, we have a non-matching bracket. The matching function can be implemented simply using pattern matching. We also have to consider the case that the stack is empty. Let's first factor out the isOpen predicate. We can use that again in the empty stack case, and again just return 0 for now when we have an unwanted closing bracket. When we reach the end of the line, we no longer care if there are open brackets on the stack, we just return 0. Now, in the cases where we need to return a non-zero value, it needs to be according to the given values, which, oddly, all seem to be prime numbers multiplied by 3. The last step is to sum them all together. The next part requires us to ignore the lines with non-matching brackets and count up the unmatched open brackets at the end of the other lines. This bit is easy enough. It just requires us to update the values in getval and switch it to open brackets, and then map getval over the remaining y's in the first line for f. We must then take each one like it's the next digit in a base 5 number, and so we can do this with a strict left fold over these values using plus of times 5 and starting with 0. Once we've done that, we just have to filter out the bad lines, which we could have also done by using a maybe type, and then find the median of these values. The median is the value in the middle, so we can just get the length of the list, then get the next value after dropping half of the elements. Note that this only works because quat rounds down, and the number of scores is always odd. And with that, we're done. So until next time, happy Haskelling!